close your eyes, and take a couple of long, deep in and out breaths. Notice where you feel the breathing in the body. Focus your attention right there. And notice that the breath feels good. If it doesn't feel good, if long breathing feels tiresome, you can try shorter breathing. You can try heavier or lighter, faster, slower. It's an unusual way of trying to find happiness, looking at your breath. It's because we have traditions that have been passed down. People have found good things. Like the Buddha, he found something really good, how to put an end to suffering. And not only did he find it, but he passed it on. You have to think how much we as human beings depend on the people who have gone before us. Without them we wouldn't have language. We, there's so much that we wouldn't know. And so it's good. Like today is Mother's Day. It's good to stop and think about the people who have helped us, to whom we're indebted. Think about the goodness that they did. And have some gratitude. For example, with your mother. She carried her around for nine months in her, in her room, looked after you, brought you up. You didn't know how to talk, she taught you how to talk. She, you didn't know how to walk, and you didn't even know how to sit up. She taught you how to walk and how to sit up. She introduced you to the world. Without her goodness, you wouldn't even be here. So it's good to have some gratitude to realize that what you are depends on the goodness of other people. And they had to go out of their way. It wasn't easy for her to do this. As a child, you were probably crying all hours of the night, getting sick all over the place. She told you what to do, and you wouldn't do it. It wasn't easy for her, but because she saw the goodness that comes from caring for children that she took looked after you. And as the Buddha said, having gratitude is a sign of your own goodness, because you appreciate the effort that other people went through. And you're more likely to put out an effort for other people yourself. If you don't appreciate what other people did, you feel that they had to do what they did, there's no special goodness that they passed on, you're not going to go out of your way to be good to other people. You would be the sort of person that other people should avoid. So appreciate the goodness that's been done for you, and then try to pass it on. That's the second part of gratitude. We appreciate other people's goodness, but when you really have gratitude, that's when you pass the goodness on. If the people who have helped you are still alive, you want to help them. If they're no longer alive, well, think about the goodness that they did. You don't want that goodness to die from the world, so you keep it alive in your own actions. Your thoughts, your words and deeds, the way you help other people. And this is how goodness survives. We look around us and we see so many people tearing down the good things that came from the past. It gets kind of discouraging, but then you realize, okay, that's going to have to be their karma. You have to look after your karma. And the fact that you know the difference between what's skillful and what's not skillful, what's worthwhile and what's not worthwhile. You owe that to the people who have gone before you. You may have built on that, added something extra. Well, pass on that something extra. But make sure the basic principles don't die. In this way, human goodness becomes something that survives, and the human realm becomes a realm in which it's good to live. So we each have to do our part. Other people have done their part for us. Now it's our turn to do our part for the people. And that way we're sure that we're genuine human beings. I knew a senior monk in Bangkok one time was commenting on some people who he saw didn't have any gratitude. He said they live like animals. And actually he was giving them animals a bad name, because there are animals who are grateful too, you know. If you really want to be a human being, you have, you have to have gratitude. And not just feel gratitude, but you have to show gratitude in your thoughts, your words, and your deeds. Because that's how goodness survives.